फाइव सेकेंड टू सेकेंड रेडी सर टुडे आवर गवर्नमेंट इज रनिंग वेरियस प्रोग्राम्स फॉर द अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ द पीपल लिविंग बिलो द पॉवर्टी लाइन अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ द हॉनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री राजीव गांधी हु हैज अ सॉफ्ट कॉर्नर फॉर द अंडर प्रिविलेज क्लासेस He has done a lot to eradicate poverty. Various welfare schemes have been launched to help the middle class and the farmers. While going through the 20-point program, we find that no section of the society has been untouched. and all sections are going to benefit from this program it is highly deplorable that some persons as well as opposition parties are trying to undermine the good work done by the government and are misguiding people i want to submit that all the inputs for example fertilizers seeds water and electricity needed by the farmers for cultivation are being made available to the farmers and not a single farmer faces difficulty in procuring these inputs in spite of the present shortage of electricity if somebody wants to obtain an electricity connection and submits a form duly filled in efforts are made to grant electricity connection to him I want to state that our government is definitely determined to establish big industries in all the districts side by side efforts are definitely being made to spread a network of small scale industries in all the districts to provide work to those willing people who are jobless the main task of central as well as the state governments today is to provide fresh and pure drinking water to people of all sections living in the country we are providing such water to them through the indian market pumps there were such villages and places in the east where no arrangements could be made for supply of potable water we had tried to supply water through small water tanks and by laying pipelines but we were not able to supply enough amount of water by installing india market second hand pumps we were trying to supply water to 200 people today we are trying to supply water through these means to the localities in habitat by farmers and poor people who belong to scheduled castes and weaker sections and to the villages inhabited by our adivasi brethren i have stated again and again in this house that there are such places where water could not be supplied even on occasions of marriage i would also like to say that our nation can be 
strengthened only when agriculture of this country is strengthened and our farmers become stronger our efforts towards becoming self reliant in food have proved very effective we have created big buffer stocks of food grains and have been able to overcome very difficult situation under various programs for production of rice etc production has gone up in the eastern states the government is determined to increase the food production to 750 lakh tons by the end of seventh year plan more attention would be paid towards increasing production in this critical situation a working group has been established in this connection i wanted to say that many such plans are being implemented besides i would also like to say that indo sri lanka accord is being appreciated by the people of our country everywhere one hears people appreciating this agreement our prime minister has concluded this agreement with great courage and bravery the way he is working today is before you all but efforts are being made to mislead the people of the country the name of bofors is being talked about our colleagues in opposition parties mention bofors the people in our opposition parties have gone to the extent of saying that the guns supplied by bofors are stuffed with hay but i want to say that when the state of guns was analyzed the capacity of the guns revealed that it was even more than given out therefore i want to say that the people would not be taken in by those who want to mislead them the people of our country know that our government our leaders and the members of parliament are serving them well and are making efforts for the welfare of the people i would also like to say that we are trying to provide electricity in each and every hut we are trying to provide water to every field and we are also trying to provide educational facilities to all near their homes so that they have not to cover long distances for receiving education our navodaya vidyalayas are of the type with which culture of our nation is interlinked today our boys of north india go to south india and the boys from south india come to north india for education thus our culture will get intermixed and this age in progress when a motion for extension of the tenure of the bofors committee was under consideration in the parliament the opposition parties opposed it earlier they had insisted upon to form a committee and now it is being opposed by them